welcome back to our channel. So today we're gonna be filming what we eat in a day and we wanted to bring you guys along with us and show you what we eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you guys are wondering where Bill's at right now, he is currently in the shower. If you guys don't remember when we went to go, we took him to the doctor, a dermatologist, I think that's how you say it, and they told him that he does have a yeast infection and it is because, you know, after he works out, he sweats a lot and he doesn't take off his shirt and so they recommended him to like come home, shower, and just to get the sweat off so he's not sitting in it because that's how yeast infections start is when you're sitting in wet clothing. But yeah, so basically while he showers, I get our creatine and our greens ready and I'll show you guys what we use for that. Sorry, you guys, I got interrupted. Not interrupted. Julia called me. We usually, that's like one of our morning routines is like we FaceTime every morning. So back to what I was doing. Bill's actually in the shower, which I'm gonna have to kick him out of there because he's been in the shower for about 15 minutes. Let's see how long I was on the phone with Julia for because I'm gonna expose him right now. He's been really good with not being in the shower long. Yep, 14 minutes. So we're gonna have to expose him here and get him out of the shower. Okay, so this is the creatine we take. Um, we actually just got a new one today because we're actually almost out. Um, this is actually, a, I don't know if it's the same flavor, lemon lime. This is raw flavored. I haven't, we haven't tried lemon lime yet, so that's probably gonna be okay. They have different flavors. They have raspberries, but what's awesome about this is that you get no bloating, no water retention, no cramping, because sometimes creatine gets you can get you like stomach aches and stuff. So when our gym started selling this, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And let me tell you, like the gains that you get from creatine is crazy. Like, let's see, can you see my booty? <laughs> I love creatine. But also another thing that we take is the Bloom Greens and Superfoods. Julia actually got me on this. And seeing her results and how it's helped her with bloating, if you struggle with bloating, especially with me, I struggle with bloating really, really bad. And I'm about to actually get my period. So I'm bloated right now. Me and Bill both take our greens every morning. Well, sometimes we forget, but it's it's honestly good to take it every morning. You do one scoop, you stir it, and you sip it. I like like the mango, what I do though is I put it into like a shot, like I make kind of like a shot type of thing and I chug it all when I plug my nose because it's, it's, I'm gonna be completely honest, it's not a very good flavor. I personally don't really like the flavoring. Bill tolerates it more than me, but Bill gets coconut and I get mango. So let's mix these bad boys up. Let me set you guys up here. So I usually fill it up with this amount of water. So I just like to chug it. I'm honestly not a sipper when it comes to this, so. I'm gonna chug mine really quick. Bill just actually got out of the shower, but I'm just gonna chug mine really quick, get it over with, because the more I look at it, the more I wanna throw up. drink it though, the more it's actually not that bad. And when I plug my nose, I actually taste the mango, which is nice. Ugh, I can never get used to that. Look who made it in the chat. Look I know, I heard it. this girl out here drinking all her well, greens and doing everything without me. Baby, you That's know, not our routine. Yes, it is a routine. We drink. You shower every... and I get everything ready. I get this part ready. Okay, I guess you're right. I do. But you so don't, I'm you showing usually them wait for our us routine. to choose. I'm showing them our routine. Do what I have we to take this now? Yep. You have to take that, and then next, I got our creatine. Why don't you get those ready? See, Bill doesn't even need to plug his nose. He's a champ. I, it is not good to me. I actually really like it. Not gonna lie, I can sip on that. And at you first, can sip? yeah, I, at first I, I was like wondering how people actually drink that, but now after drinking it for a while, it's like it's good. Here, mix yours really quick. It looks nasty, but it's good. You have green all over your face, by the way. You what? Yeah. Yeah, usually you have to like, right when you put the creatine in there and you mix it, you gotta take it right away because then all this stuff will go to the bottom. It's mm. sour and I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. Let's get to cooking. <laughs> so I want to say this, usually I like to drink our protein shakes like right after our workout, but we have I, not. We realized, I realized I like it when we do lunch. Lunch time. Because I feel like with the greens and the creatine, it kind of, I'm not really in the mood for a protein shake. It mm -hmm. kind of got get my stomach to settle. Yeah, that used to be the first thing that we do every morning. So yeah. that is the only thing that's gonna be different from anything that you've seen before. Yeah, so. Breakfast is finally woo, completed. Woo. So what I eat is I, it all kind of depends on what I'm feeling, but usually I just recently started getting into crunchy peanut butter. 
So I get keto bread, this is like low carb, and I put some crunchy peanut butter on it. Yeah, each piece of bread, like usually normal bread has like, what, like 15 grams of carbs? Yeah. These have like three. Yeah, so. So it's way better than. The one that we usually get is one, right? Yeah, the other And one, it tastes yeah. the same. Like you guys would not be able to tell like, like the difference between a normal bread. I just, I don't see the difference. So. No, not at all. Um, and then what we also drink usually is, this has got caffeine in it, but it's like low carb, low sugar, everything. No well, there's carbs. no, there's no sugar. There's no carbs. No carbs, no sugar. It's like unsweetened tea mixed with this like lemon. Um, electrolytes. Electrolyte mixer. Yeah. And it tastes amazing. See, but yeah. breakfast being the most important meal of the day, because this is what like kickstarts the day, kickstarts your body. Mariah actually hates breakfast. If you did not know this. I don't like breakfast foods. Like I do, but I don't know. It's not like my favorite cup of tea. Like she'll eat like a couple slices like, of bacon. This, this is a good breakfast. I could do this breakfast every morning. But we've made breakfast so many times and like she doesn't eat eggs. She's like tried. That. She doesn't eat like anything except just like a little portion of that. So me, I'm like an egg eater. I love breakfast. If I could have breakfast, like a gourmet breakfast every morning, I would. We asked you guys like on our story, like what are some like vlog type videos? And you guys really wanted to see what we eat in a day and like what we do like fitness wise. Especially like, us being like, we don't eat unhealthy foods. So we have a lot of cool foods that you can find at like Target and stuff too that are like snacks. We'll show you guys. That are like substitutes for like candies or cookies and stuff, but it's really good for you. Like we found for you. a candy that's literally a Reese's cup and it tastes exactly the same, but it's like low but carb. But it's so, there's like almost no sugar in it, I don't mm -hmm. think. I don't think sugar in it. I think the chocolate is literally like healthier for you than yeah. a salad. <laughs> yeah, for real. So yeah guys, that basically sums up our breakfast. So comment down below what you guys eat for breakfast. Like what is your guys' go-to breakfast food? I'm always that dude at like when we go to like hotels and stuff or we order breakfast, like I get like the biggest thing possible and she'll get like maybe a French toast. Oatmeal. But she'll only eat, yeah, an oatmeal. I like oatmeal a lot. That's another thing I'll eat. Like sometimes we'll eat at Starbucks, get, like my oatmeal, mm -hmm. but uh, he's gonna, uh, what? oh, he's got poop on his butt. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Get off uh, the counter. I did not need to see that while I was Get eating. Get off the counter. I did not need to see that. <laughs> Dude, that's disgusting. It's a life of heavy cats. Ugh. Okay, baby, I see it's lunch time. What are we cooking up today? So what we got on the menu for lunch today is I'm gonna make some ground beef filled tacos. It's like, you know a taquito? It's not a taco, a taquito. taquito. So basically you put it in a tortilla, it's <laughs> like a taquito. <laughs> but like this is the healthy version. So we have like these low carb tortillas that we find. Cause like tortilla is like bread, it's really high in carbs. So we're gonna put some ground beef in there. I also put some taco seasoning in the ground beef mm. to make it, you know, a little better. And then put cheese in it. So when I cook them on the stove, the like cheese will melt all in it. It's yeah. gonna be so good. So then since I told you guys we do our protein shake for lunch now, I am going to be making the protein shake because honestly, I am the protein shake master. Bill has made protein shakes, but honestly, they were never as good as me. Let's be real here, babe. Um, Let's be real. I was good at them, but Mariah decided to take over, so she got better at them. I'm really I feel good. like you were just it's as good as me. Because he mine. wouldn't mix the ice all the way, so Why you would you sip it. Right when now. you would sip it, you would bite on the ice cubes. I was and a good like, protein. And you know what he says? He goes, guys. Mariah, you're gonna break the blender by mixing it for so long. I'm like, how okay. am I gonna break the blender? The whole point of blending is to blend it. You're I'm right. Because I'm exposing right. you. For because what? Being a bad protein blender? Yeah. Protein yeah. Protein blender? Uh, yeah, for oh, real. Okay. So this is what we use for our protein shakes. We use the Pro Way chocolate. Oh my gosh, this is the best. So I will do that with this, two scoops of peanut butter, some almond milk, water, and ice, and it's the perfect blend. Oh my goodness, I love our protein shakes. Mwah. Yeah, it really tastes like chocolatey peanut butter protein, and it's just like, it's probably one of the best shakes we've had, because a lot of shakes taste too much like protein, and they're just not good like we've, to drink. Like we've like tried like the vanilla and all that stuff, but like, I don't know, it just doesn't taste as good to I us. I feel like the vanilla tastes the most like, like fake, yeah. like protein-ish taste. Yeah, it does. And it just doesn't. <laughs> this is the peanut butter we use. Oh my gosh, I feel like this is my all time favorite peanut butter. I love Jiffy. And another thing with us eating, like eating healthy is hard. You literally have to focus on every single like thing you put in your body and like and basically everything that we usually have eaten 
in the past is not good for you. Like, if you really think about your diet, like, our diet was absolutely terrible. Yeah, especially at our apartment and stuff. Yeah, like, it's honestly hard because you get sick of the food fast that you eat because it's like you eat it every day. But it's kind of like you gotta either, you win or you lose. We're trying to intake our protein. Oh, we gotta show them the protein chips that we eat. Oh, yeah, we had those too. That'll be a snack. Yeah. Because me and Bill, I will say, we're pretty big snackers. And it was been hard for us because, like, giving up chips and, like, chocolate and stuff like that was really hard. Nobody makes, like, yeah. snacks. So we found a really good alternative, so... My masterpiece. Oh, that's good. It's never not good when Mariah mixes up a protein shake. Let me just tell you that. You being sarcastic? Huh? No. I think yeah, it's you amazing. were. I think it's amazing. Mm. I think it's so freaking good, babe. We'll cut you guys back when the um, lunch is served. Chef Bill. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Bill RD because I was like Chef Bill RD in the house. Oh. You know, like what? Boy RD, Bill RD. Ah. Uh. I don't want to stretch. I tried to be funny. I'm sorry. I tried to be funny, but this is the final product. This is what it looks like. Wait, wait, wait. We have one more thing. What? Are, are we going to show them our snack tips? The chips. That kind of goes with it. It goes with it. Perfect. Look at how fire these look. Like, they're crunchy. Like, put them on the stove top. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. You didn't get your flavor? No, I'm going to snack off some ears. So, these are the chips that we eat. That's our secret formula right there. So this only has three grams of carbs and 20 grams of protein. So right here, this is like 40 grams yeah, right we're, here. Yeah, we're getting a lot of protein in this meal and we have all the beef that's inside here and cheese has some protein in it as well. Mm -hmm. So, and the tortillas. So a little bit of everything. But basically this is a huge taquito, like homemade, it's which healthy. is way better and healthier. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. You guys. I think these are the best ones I made. They really are. Mm -hmm. I think it's because you perfected it. Yeah. Oh my God. All right, now Fire. we're gonna do a little taste test of these chips for taste you guys. Taste test. So they can actually feel how, you know, it'll feel if they eat one. This is what they look like. Now these are a little different than normal chips because they're way softer. Mm -hmm. They're still crunchy, but they're like, you know, thinner. This is my favorite flavor. I right. love the chili lime. Mm-hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. It tastes like you're eating a whole chips and salsa, but there's yeah. no salsa. It's just one. So that's part. like our snack that we'll eat. Like say, like after we're a little bit hungry before dinner, mm -hmm. I'll snack on that. Or after dinner, I'll snack on that. We snack a lot, but we have good snacks. Oh yeah. Which we still are going to share with you in this video because I want you guys to try them out. They're literally half of them are from Target, mm -hmm. so you can easily. All of them are from Target. Oh, they are. Mm -hmm. Even easier. But you guys know you guys love your Target, mm -hmm. so. So before we eat dinner today, we want to show you our snacks and like I just grabbed two of them because these are the probably our favorite mm -hmm. two that we have. And it's funny because everything's from Quest that we've been showing them, but yeah. this is not sponsored or anything. It's just they make good healthy so, products. These two peanut butter cups <laughs> is only one G net carbs with one 11 gram. grams of protein. Hold on, I want to look up. So a regular packet of Reese's peanut butter cup says it has 24 grams of carbs in it. Dang, so this one only has one gram of carbs. That is crazy. And it tastes exactly So like. you can technically eat 24 packs of those to equal one regular pack and if you bought like the name brand. really like this birthday cake cookie, cookie thing. Also guys, I'm pretty dead because Bill turned up the heat in the house. I don't know why he did that. Yeah, and so I'm overheating. I'm, I'm, I'm overheating too. And I didn't notice it until you mentioned it. So I'm so, sorry. So sometimes for dinner, we switch up back and forth. So tonight, Bill's going to be cooking the dinner. And um, I'm so gonna, he's going to take you along. I'm not going to tell you what I'm cooking yet because okay. we have a couple menu options. And I have a request though. Yeah. Rice. Okay, something with rice. Okay, well, usually our menu options vary from, but we, we have chicken, mm -hmm. steak, salmon, like chicken and noodles, just like that. We only stay with like those main food groups, yeah. but I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook something up for you good tonight. Okay. And it's gonna be with rice, okay? And then we do have keto dessert keto that we dessert. have to, yeah, the dessert. Oh. And this is a literal like ice cream dessert that is only like I one gram of carbs. That. So, hey, our whole life is eating good, but like honestly, I feel better about myself, don't you? I do. Sometimes I still feel like 
while eating bad, but like you're really not eating bad. No, we're not. We, we're just eating good, healthy foods. Yeah. <laughs> that tastes like the bad foods, that's why. All right guys, so you already see what we got going on on the menu. I got my trusty air fryer out. We're gonna cook up some, I'm just kidding, I can't say it because my baby's actually sitting right here. And whatever I say, she's gonna listen, even though she's not listening to me right now. She's so beautiful, look at her. Just lay there, all cute, all cuddly. I just wanna give her a kiss. Baby, can you really not hear me? What? You didn't hear me that whole time? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I, didn't, I don't want you to hear me. Just go back to listening, okay? But we're gonna cook her up a good meal right now. I already got the rice out like she requested, but the main course has yet to be shown. And I'm also gonna make one more thing. Some this. this is one of our favorites to cook up. It looks so good, tastes even better. And it's not that bad for you. For the whole box, it's only 15 grams of carbs, which is like actually not bad considering how good the taste is. But we got a lot to do, so let's get started. <laughs> All right, so we're about halfway done. We got everything cooking. I literally don't have to do anything else until it's cooked, and then I just have to plate it all together, put some seasonings in the rice, and make it look good. But now is usually the time of the day. I know this is not really a night routine, but the cats have just been meowing for the past 10 minutes. So watch what happens when I say this one word. When I say outside. You see him? <laughs> outside? Yeah, do you wanna go outside? Do you wanna go outside? Oh, he wants to go outside, watch. They're literally, he knows the word, watch. He's sitting right next to the door. He knows we're opening it now. <gasps> you wanna go outside? Yeah, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, technical difficulties. Go! And then Thor is always the second one out for some reason. Snap's always the first one out. Thor runs out and they're gone. They're out. They're gone for, I don't know, as long as we keep them out here. They'll literally run around outside for hours if we let them. But we usually only leave them out there for a little bit because the Florida heat is kind of hot, especially in the daytime. This week in Florida, we literally are breaking records with the heat. Usually at this time of the year, it's not like in the 90s. 9s, 98s. Usually it's like 92. I mean, it's freaking August. Like, come on, it's almost the end of the year. And it's been 98 degrees like every single day, which I'm not complaining. I love it. I'd rather have it than like really cold weather, but like it's hot. It's very hot. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at how perfectly cooked these look. Like they literally look like they were cooked on like a traditional oven. This is gonna be good. All right, baby. Bon Appetit. Come on. The storm. I know, it's literally getting darker and darker over there, way over there. Can you see that, guys? I don't know, you can kind of see it, but all the kitties are out there having fun, playing. I'm you ready sleepy. to eat? I'm sleepy. Do you have a guess of what it is, or can you smell it? I'll give you a hint. What? Snap. Salmon. <laughs> yeah, it's salmon. I'm gonna show you right now, but it looks oh, so good. Favorite. It looks so good. Let me just tell you, I know uh, I think so. I know last time you told me next time I make salmon to not make it as crispy. It might be a little still, but it's not as bad as last time. Okay, okay no, it so wasn't bad last time. okay, no, it's it's good no matter what, buddy. Ready? Oh. Ooh. God. You get the cheesy fork too. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm a little dead right now. I'm not sure what happened, but something hit me like a freaking bus. It's it definitely the heat. Like... The heat definitely probably tired you out. Oh my god. It... It, like I was feeling so like disgusting. Like I still <laughs> I am like getting older. I still feel it too. It's getting colder in here though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like a date. Yeah. It's like a nice salmon oh. dinner date. Mm -hmm. On a scale of one to ten, what do you rate? Did you already try the salmon? I'm oh, yeah, not even eating it. What do you rate the salmon? One to ten. Oh, it's not as crispy. Mm -mm. I made it way better this time. Oh, it's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you enjoy your dinner, baby? Mm -hmm. This is really good. This is also why we call it Snap's food. When I said Snap, Mariah immediately said salmon because whenever I make salmon, he is always right next to us on the table or on the ground we begging for it. We usually feed him a little bit. We'll throw it on the floor. We'll throw it on the floor. Never feed your cats or dogs from the table. Otherwise, they will never leave you, leave you alone. Also, Marvel Squad, I want to show you the dessert that we get. We get a couple different ones of these, but this happens to be the brand Halo Top. They have a keto ice cream bar. It tastes exactly like a regular one. Not not like a hundred percent like it, but yes, like it does. very, very good. Oh my if you are looking for a low carb, this is only three grams of carbs per 
ice cream stick. Like per the whole popsicle stick, I three grams mean. of carbs. It has chocolate flavored coated frozen dessert. Mm. So good. I get these all the time. And it honestly like tops off our day. It's crazy it how much food we eat in a day. Like it just Watch makes this sense. Video? I actually realized how good we actually eat. Yeah, that's true. I feel like we're always crapping on ourselves that we don't eat good, but like really in reality, we probably eat better than most people. I think I want to start doing like a calorie deficit, like watching how much calories yeah, we eat. Yeah, that's when you have to start just counting your calories though and, and seeing how much, you know, calories you burn every day. We're definitely going to have to start incorporating more cardio into our exercise, but this is going to be cool. Like I feel like a lot of people want to start eating better. They just don't know where to start. So have this video be your start. If you do want to start eating better, then start with like all the foods that you see us doing all the little things try to go on like kind of like a less sugar less carb diet mm -hmm. i feel like that's the best way to do it not full-blown keto but just less sugar and less carbs try to eat less candy and that's it if you don't care about your diet hey honestly thank you guys so much for watching either way because yeah. this food's good for people you that guys, care or don't always ask us like Show us what you guys eat in a day. I want to see what you guys eat. Show us like your workout routine. Mm -hmm. Even though we haven't like posted our actual workout routine, but I'm glad that we were able to kind of show you guys what we eat. In a and day. this is all good food. Mm -hmm. Like I've been happy all day and full all day. Yeah. And it's funny because we usually skip lunch. Lunch. And we're but today we had to. We had to show you guys. I know. I all day. It was awesome. We should start making lunch. I know. <laughs> That's Seriously. what it's there for. For real. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any other video ideas, comment down below and you're also welcome. I hope you like it. I do. <laughs> and we will see you guys in the next video. But until then, peace. Love, love you guys. guys.